Friday. <laughs> I am so sorry that it's so late. It's been a busy day. Okay, let's jump in. Today, we are going to stuff my bills binder, my sinking funds, my savings challenges, my cash envelopes, all the things. Can't wait. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, so I skipped my normal intro where I remind you to like and subscribe. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're into things like cash envelope stuffing and budgeting and planning. That's what this channel is all about. So please um, subscribe to that. We are going to stuff $165 today. And sorry, let me sort this really quickly there. I like to count largest to smallest. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Yay, we have exactly enough money. So funny story, I went to the bank this morning and it was closed. I guess it was closed for Veterans Day, is my guess. So I ended up going through the ATM and then I had to come home and to get the right denominations, I like kind of sorted through my cash envelopes. So I've condensed my cash envelopes a little bit today so that I could have the right denominations for today's cash envelope stuffing. Okay, starting with our bills binder. So these are not all the bills that we pay. These are just the bills that are cover covered with my paycheck, which is a week, I'm paid weekly. So every week, the bills that I need to cover, I put a little bit aside for each category to make sure I have enough when that category comes up. For garbage, we're looking, we want to get $60 in here. We currently have 20, 25, 30. We currently have 30. Today we're going to add $5. So now we should have 35. 20, 25, 30, 35. So when this gets to 60, I'll know I have enough to pay that bill, so then I deposit that into my bank account. By the way, these are press-on nails. I showed them to David this morning, and he was very impressed. He, he said, you know, I really can't tell the difference between your press-on nails and when you go to the salon. And I'm like, yeah, right? <laughs> I saved so much money by doing the $6 press-on nails. These ones, I think, were the OPI brand, and I got them at Ulta. Okay, Alliant is gonna get $10 today. We're trying to save up $40 for this bill. And now we have 30 for that. Next is WW, and WW is going to get five. We don't have any money in there because we paid that bill last week. Okay, that's it for bills. Let's move on to our sinking funds. So sinking funds are those like large expenses that happen throughout the year. So we save up a little bit each month so when those expenses come up, we have enough to pay for them. Okay, so starting with car maintenance. So every week I like to put $10 aside for car maintenance. So now we have 20, 30, 40. So now we have $40 in that envelope. So we recently used all the money in here for an oil change and a tire rotation, but we're already building this up quite quickly. It's very exciting to see how quickly things build up. Okay, car registration. Every week we add $5 to that. So now we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So now we have $40 for car registration. Next up is Christmas. Um, by the way, I said in yesterday's video that going forward until Christmas, all the buy me a coffee money we get is going to go to this envelope to help us celebrate Christmas with our family this year. Uh, the boys, Logan and Jacob, because we already did our family Christmas with my parents. But today we are going to add just $10. We didn't have any buy me a coffees this week. Actually, one came in last night. I haven't had a chance to go in and look at it, see who it's from or how much it was, but it's not gonna count towards this week, it will count towards next week. So if that buy me a coffee is from you, you'll be getting a shout out in next week's video. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, 150. I'm making my list now of like the gifts I wanna get for Jacob, Logan, and Sierra. I am gonna be sharing um, my Christmas gift list with you guys so you can see where we're gonna spend this money. I think that's gonna be really fun. Okay, and then the last one for sinking funds is our vet. 
And today we're going to add $5 to VET. So now we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So now we have $70 for VET. This is for Mork's annual visit, which is about $300, but I'm also going to continue to save beyond that so that we have money for an emergency fund, just a VET emergency fund for things that might come up with him. Okay, that's it for sinking funds. Let's move on to my cash envelopes. These are the envelopes that I carry around with me in my wallet. This wallet, by the way, I had a question last week. This is a Filofax, and I do have a link to this wallet in my Amazon favorite. So if you go down into the description box of this video, look for the, the thing that says Amazon favorites, click on that, and it'll take you to my Amazon storefront, and that's where you can find this wallet. So if you're the one who asked that question, that's where it is. And Filofax wallets come in a variety of colors. This is kind of a purplish blue. It's more blue, I'd say, but it definitely has like a purple tone to it. Okay, so starting with spending money, I don't have any spending money left. I'm gonna get $20 this week. Logan is going to get his $5 this week. And David gets 20. So Jacob doesn't get an allowance from me like Logan. Logan is my youngest son. He still lives with us. Um, he's in fifth grade. Logan, uh, Jacob is 20 years old and he has his own apartment. So I don't give him an allowance. What I give him is emergency money. <laughs> he's like, mom, help me out. I need food. That's how I help Jacob. Okay, so gas is going to get $20 this week. And miscellaneous is going to get 50. Now, if I did this right, I should have $50 in tens here and then some of this we're going to actually take out of miscellaneous and put towards our savings challenge um, depending on the number that you guys picked this week so let's see 10 20 30 40 50 yes we do have 50 so we'll come back to this envelope in just a moment okay guys it's time for our savings challenge i kind of calmed my tone down a little bit because morky mark is in the room with me and he likes it when i have a calm voice <laughs> also i turned a little bit of background music on that sometimes helps him i have been giving him these rawhide bones and he's been chewing on that while we while i made this video for you guys today but he's done and he's with me so we're going to try and keep him calm okay so i'm using my new notebook for the savings challenges so i haven't set this up with you guys yet that video will be coming soon this is my erin condren monthly planner and the eight and a half by 11 size this is one of the budgeting books that i'm going to be using next year and we've already started the notes section in the back because that's where i'm doing my savings challenges this year and i introduced this new product to you guys last week this is the piggy bank savings challenge and we're saving $10 for every piggy. So every piggy is worth $10. This whole sheet is worth $500. And we're currently only doing one savings challenge. I'm trying to focus all my energy on this one savings challenge, crush this goal, and then we can move on to the next one. So we're trying to save a $1,000 cushion for our checking account. And let's see how much we have so far. So we have the $500 that's already in our bank account, and we've managed to save an extra 40. No, that's not right. We had more than that last week. I think when I did the bill exchange today, I did something wrong. Let me go check last week's video really quickly and see how much money we're supposed to have in here. Okay, that's right. I just thought for some reason I thought we had more than 540. Uh, but yes, 540 is the correct amount. And I could have seen that right here is 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. So I forgot, I totally forgot to tell you guys last week to pick a number between one and four. So one, two, three, or four. But you guys remembered, thank goodness, each week I ask you guys to pick a number, either one, two, three, or four. One, two, three, four. And um, then we mix these numbers up and whatever number has the most votes, that's what we're gonna stuff into our envelope today. So I'm gonna turn these over, mix them up, and then we'll take a look and see what you guys voted for. Thank you for remembering to pick a number last week, even though I forgot to remind you. While I'm thinking of it, thinking of it right now, pick a number down in the comment section below. Put a number that you guys want me to, uh, what number you want for next week. One, two, three, or four. Okay, so you guys picked. 
Eight people picked number one, 11 people picked number two, three people picked number three, and six people picked number four. So, number two. <laughs> number two is the clear winner. Let's see what you guys picked. Oh, only $10. I'm kind of sad. I wanted more than that. Okay, so let's see what the other numbers were. So if you picked a one, that was $30. $40 was number three. And $20 was number four. So we're gonna stuff $10 today. And that money comes from our miscellaneous envelope. You know, while I wanna hit this goal, it is actually okay to have a little bit of money in the miscellaneous envelope. There's a few things I wanna pick up, um, you know, that are not budgeted, currently budgeted for. So I can get that done this week while I have a little more miscellaneous money. Okay, so we're gonna add $10 this week. So 20, 40, 50. So now we have $550. Let's add a piggy to our savings challenge thing. One of the cool things about this Erin Condra notebook it has, is it has this pocket in the back, so I can just stick my, put my stickers right back there. By the way, these stickers will be available starting uh, tomorrow. There will be a sticker release tomorrow. I don't know what time of the day that's gonna happen, but I am planning on getting that out tomorrow, the sticker release. So the, this new product will be available starting tomorrow. Um, I'm actually releasing this in the eight and a half by 11 and the seven by nine size. I have more color options, so you can see all those piggy color options tomorrow. I also have two other savings challenges I'm releasing tomorrow as well, along with my January sticker release. So you'll definitely wanna come back tomorrow and see all the new fun, exciting stickers that are coming out in the shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, will you please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all again next time. Bye everyone.